there are products available that um, you can buy, but readily available in auto stores, etc., um, that contain uh, anaesthetic gas, and those could be used. Um, as I understand it, they, it's used, for example, they break into the villa first of all, and then they will pump the gas into the master bedroom or other bedrooms if there's other guests. Um, wait a while, and then when they enter the room, the gas has already dispersed, but it's had the effect on uh, the occupants. Um, I have spoken to people that have been gassed. Um, uh, so, yes, it definitely does happen. Well, you spoke to, say you spoke to people who have been gassed. How prevalent is it in the south of France? Um, it's something that does go on. Um, it's not every day, um, but it's a regular occurrence. Um, a couple of years ago, there was a famous footballer who was uh, gassed in Valerice. Um, you've got J uh, Jensen Button in uh, Saint-Tropez. Um, you know, the clients I'm thinking of were in Villefranche. So it spread all across the, the south of France. Uh, but actually being able to enter a building like that and pump the gas in, or indeed introduce it through the air conditioning system, is that possible without someone waking well, up? Um, well, an air conditioning system is normally a closed circuit, so it wouldn't be introduced via that system. Um, uh, an open bedroom window, it depends on the villa um, and the property. If uh, The reason I get called is because people haven't got an alarm or it was ineffective or... Um, they, you know, they didn't switch it on. <laughs> um, and if that's the case, then obviously somebody can get in they can, and they can introduce the, the gas into the room. Uh, but uh, an alarm in this particular situation, how useful is it? Because you've got occupants inside the villa already, so surely they could set it up by moving around. No, no. The way um, you set up a system like that, um, the, the users can, uh, within the villa can move around freely um, you, you put a, a first perimeter warning, a uh, perimeter alarm in, so that before they've even approached the villa, before they could even try and attack anything on the villa, you've got an alarm that goes off. Should, uh, should they get past that somehow, you've then got the, the exterior of the villa alarmed, and as soon as they try and open any access point, the, the alarm goes off. Um, you know, it's, it's a very effective way. Well, clearly, if what we're seeing here is a burglary in which gassing has taken place, it's taken some preparation, and surely you know, the burglars concerned will have had to scope out the joint beforehand. So what do you advise clients? What should they be looking out for? Um, people turning up that haven't been invited, you know, knock on the door with the EDF, we need to see your, your meter or, or things like this. Um, no, no one in France will turn up without, ha legitimately will turn up without having sent a letter in advance. Um, so, in general, if you get somebody knock on your door, just send them away. And how seriously are these kind of attacks taken by police, though? Um, that that uh, I can't really answer. Um, you know, you'd have to, to speak to them. So you couldn't tell us anything, for example, about how easy it is to detect, you know, if you've had a burglary of this sort, is it easier or is it harder to actually find out? If, if somebody's work. been gassed, the, the, the general, generally they know it because they'll wake up with a bad headache. So that's, that's, the, that's the opening sign. Um, I have heard of people having blood tests to find out if they've been gassed and what's been used. So that can also be done, and that would be done at the... Um, you know, the police can suggest that that's done, and you go to your doctor and uh, have the blood test done, but it would need to be done fairly quickly. Um, and there are d gas detectors that uh, we install, so if somebody does try to introduce a gas into the house, um, you know, that will pick it up and, and set off an alarm straight away. How many of those do you install, gas detectors? Because it's not, it's not the kind of crime you think about when you think about the south of France. No. Um, what tends to happen, as I say, is there will be a high-profile um, incident like this, and then we'll have a lot of demand for a year or two, and then that will drop off again, and then there will be another big incident, and it will, uh, um, you know, everybody will be calling me.